Hello, welcome to me telling you about something I wrote about. So I wrote it on my website, uh, which is L, L, as in L is for the way you look at me. Um, so L D E S O M M A R dot com. And basically, I'm doing blog posts of things that I've just figured out in my career and I think can be helpful for you um, because it's empowering to share knowledge and help avoid pitfalls because that's, you know, like that's why I love to read. It's because I can learn from others other people's mistakes and that's how we further humanity in a nutshell basic in, in my opinion I mean there's pl plenty of ways but this is my one of my favorite ways so um, this blog post is called top 10 things they didn't teach me at drama school and here it goes so the number one thing is <laughs> I wrote a disclaimer I had a great time at drama school I did it was very Formative, um, so, as, it, as it should be. What is your vision? Okay, so this is the first post, the first point, the, one of the first 10 things they didn't teach me at drama school. Basically, because everybody asks the question, should I go to drama school? Should I train? Or is it not worth it? It is such a complicated question because it really depends on who you are. Like, ultimately, you're an artist, okay? Um, yes, there's commercial sides to it, and but in the end, it's your brand and it's your career, and um, it is helpful to have a vision of what you aim to do later on in life, so that your steps, like it's okay if you don't know exactly where you're going, but usually you have some inkling for instance like i always knew that i wanted to do film and i wanted to end up in la however um i thought well i have a swedish passport i might as well like move to the uk and act there because obviously well in, not obviously but in my opinion I, I thought like one of the best trainings that you can get in acting is in the uk um and i still stand by that i think uh in the uk they take that tradition extremely seriously and 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 if you're really developing your craft to be the best you can be then why not in my opinion that's one of the places um i also auditioned to some schools in the us um but i did get into one but it i i just felt happier or like more I thought it was better bargain to do the, the one that I got admitted in in, in the UK, and uh, and another thing is that people um, audition to drama schools like uh, like year after year after year, and it does not mean anything. And that's the other thing. It's like drama school is not the be all and end all by any means. Uh, yes, in I, I've I've heard from someone that works in the US that uh, both New York. Um, well, and then and London, which obviously isn't in the US. Uh, those two cities really care where you trained, um, but other than that, LA does not really does not care where you trained as long as like they only care what you've done before and like if you did it with like if you were, were starring in something with someone famous um, or who you trained with more than where you trained at because there's tons of like uh, schools that are very like following just like one person, whereas I think the really good thing that drama schools in the uk have is that why okay this is just got a conversation about acting um and and i hope it's helpful i hope you can take something out of it or at, at, uh, hopefully many more things than just one um and what the uk system does which i love is that it basically hands you a bunch of methods and then says okay we're going to try all of these and also you feel free to invent your own which i actually randomly did and then but no, it wasn't a full method it was just because i had trouble with uh pronunciation and one thing and then i did this physical exercise with a movement teacher that then became that's one exercise that like I invented with her guidance, like tutelage. Um, but uh, so, so yes, it's a live art form. It's for everybody and by all means, like go ahead and do it. I think training is really good for networking because, uh, well, yeah, I, I, not network, networking in the sense that that's gonna lead you to other things. But for instance, like I've done two short films and I've, uh, and, I just like asked one of like a couple of my mates from drama school it's like uh, I would love for you to be in the short film if you could please do this and they actually were super keen and super kind and, and nailed it so I do think in that sense it's helpful but um, 
other than that you can have that through working um so what i would say is like work is the number one thing like if i were to redo my life <clears throat> that would be the number one thing because i don't know if it's because i am a female or because i like completely bought into the school system idea which is like you have to learn everything and and then you feel like you're uh qualified to actually do the thing i they're in the lean in book um let's um there's a statistic that's, that was actually like awful uh cheryl sandberg she said something like men are only uh, you know they apply to a job when they're like 60 percent qualified for it uh, and they think like yes i'm just gonna like you know that's the potential and i can totally like having done this i can totally project and see myself that i'll be able to like you know overcome these things and like nail it whereas women tend to wait till they're like a hundred percent quite like they hit every single point that they're looking for um in the post and uh, in the job opportunity and then they apply so like women are either not being hired on their on their potential which men are or we just wait too long to to be ready and i think that's definitely something that happened with me um in my family we value education so much and so uh you know my parents were like okay we're, we're gonna help you financially but only if you get a degree and i was like okay there's this obsession with getting a degree i think that's slowly disintegrating uh nowadays um since you, you don't need to and there's tons of online education that is available to everybody and 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 schools tend to cost so much especially in the us and that's ridiculous and also um and you know student debt but also like sometimes uh, i did go to school in, in in the us before the me too era or um and it was it was not a very like pleasant place i think i mean from and from my experience um but it could have been it could have been anything from culture shock to i was studying something that i didn't feel truly was my like my place to be so i by now of course like my best friend actually had the best time of her life there so it is not a categorical statement it was just like my subjective experience um but let's go back to what is your vision the question is what where do you see yourself uh as i mentioned i saw myself in making movies in la and I ended up in London and I had the best training I could I hope for there. Um, but I definitely, one of, the, one of the mistakes I did was that I needed to feel like I was 100% ready to, to tackle every job. Whereas you're meant to like jump to it. Obviously, was that it? Or was it actually, I think... Oh, that I needed the education. I don't, no, I actually think I needed the education. I think it was really good. Like, obviously, I grew so much with it. But, uh, but it, just the idea that, for instance, like, if I had go, gone to LA to train and start, you know, then my networking would have been, um, you know, from day one in the industry or the city that I want to develop myself in. And... Um, so just have that in mind because there's so many places that you can train. So if you love French theatre, obviously, well not obviously, but more likely than not, please go and train in France where you will make the, the networking that you that you crave and that it's actually going to be helpful for you. So if you're a person that loves theatre very much, then I would suggest, um, you know, Sydney's really good, um, London's really good. Uh, New York's really good in terms of theatre. Uh, um, Buenos Aires, Ar Ar Argentina, if you speak Spanish. Depends, you know, there's so many different places. You can start locally, of course. Um, and actually, one of my dreams is to, and this is a test to see if this works, uh, I want to distill um, things that, I, that, that they taught me at drama school that I find exceedingly helpful and give them for free to you. And I also wanted to test if I could do an online drama school um in the sense that there's there's some classes in drama school that are very theoretical like when you learn a method um but then you go and test them out for yourself so i don't see wh why you'd have to pay like hundreds of thousands of your own currency to like travel to a big city to to like live in a big city to train um yes like that's phenomenal and if you can do that but i also think that 
especially nowadays there's tons of m many different ways through social media or creating your own content that um, enables you to be the creator that you want to be from pretty much a, a, anywhere in the world uh, as long as you have wi-fi um so anyway so what is your vision i think uh if you can have a little time to yourself and really uh dig into yourself and figure out okay where do i ultimately what's what's my dream where do i want to end up um take that into consideration if you decide to train um because it just will help you uh, it is i mean like i trained in london um and i don't i don't think you know i don't take it back i think that's amazing um i'm just aware that if i had chosen to be in la from the get-go um i would have gotten the networking that i i'd want uh however now i have this whole appreciation of uh you know uh british way of uh either you know films and scripts and 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 theater but anyway long story short um it says plans or tactics to get your goal can and will change to adapt to your life but uh, but stay true to your north stay true to your north um because ultimately it is your life you it is your life you're building it and you don't have to answer to anybody um obviously try not to be rude because it's helpful when you're nice uh, especially like now that i'm I'm reading a full script and I'm thinking of producing more things. I'm thinking like, gosh, I only want to work with like people that I like get along with just because like, especially if it's going to be like my first big project, I don't want any like trouble just because I mean, if there is like, it's going to be like, we can solve it, but wouldn't you rather work in a place where people just get along and like can focus on the work because any energy that goes into like fixing all the solutions, it could have been energy that goes into actually the project and not, anyway but that's production so okay let's move on to, to um, thing number two 